I consider uh, you might uh, notice that in the last video it started to be a little defragmented uh, while as uh, the surahs become more and more smaller uh, then I have really no choice if I uh, want to tell everything about them so uh, you can expect that this can happen later too so just let's start with Surah uh, 51 uh, there, here is the z commandment zero don't ask that's the basic of our religion I think mm, oh, uh, Muslims are always tired I think because they work uh, at the day at uh, time and they sleep only a little bit uh, at night time so I think they are always tired and not too efficient mm, here is the story about uh, the angels God going to Sodom and Gomorrah and visiting uh, Abraham and Sarah uh, Strangely in the Quran there is no debate. Abraham just accept that accepts that Sodom and Gomorrah will be destroyed. Uh, interestingly, you know a stone uh, fire rain of fire or something, but uh, clay. Clay falls on Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know why. But oh well. There are more stupid uh, demolishing things made by Mr. A, and uh, here is a claim that uh, Mr. A created everything in pairs. But why? There are a lot of things that are asexual. So why make uh, viruses in pairs? just has no reason uh, actually they wouldn't be in pair but in a sense I think what the Quran is used is the pair uh, because they are not pair just two in number mm, there's some things about why Mr. A created jeans and uh, humans <coughs> to serve Mr. A uh, but uh, it says he doesn't want to feed him or uh, take care of him then, then what he expects, what is the servitude he expects no one knows it seems uh, Surah 52 says a burning sea well that would be interesting something about doomsday that the sky will turn in waves who knows what this means well we at least know that the uh, Quranic uh, doomsday uh, they comes with uh, flying mongo that would be much easy to recognize <laughs> some more thing about praying and some homosexual thing about the young male servants uh, going around in paradise and serving you then we are already in Surah <coughs> 53 uh, it says something about the stars but I don't really comprehend it it just dissolves when it uh, when the sun comes up. So I, it's a really strange concept that uh, new stars are created at every start of the night, and both stars are solving when the start the sun comes up or something. Who knows? some problematic about being Mr. A omnipresent uh, 
some question, rhetorical question that uh, how trust uh, you don't trust eyewitnesses well, I don't well, actually no one trusts them fully because you know eyewitnesses can see what they want <laughs> just think upon the World War Two, where everyone said that, oh I saw them doing this and that in gas chambers and it happened that no one actually saw anything like the human soap or the electrocute termination and uh, more bizarre things. Uh, well, back to the Quran. Uh, Mr. A is the Lord of Sirius. This is the strangest title I think Allah has. I just can't find a reason. And there is a claim that uh, whoever don't believe in the afterlife uh, calls the angels in female names. Uh, I don't see the connection between the two things, half of this uh, statement, and uh, I s see the how false it is, but oh well, in the Quran. Mm, and um, for the end, it, it tells some things about how much good things Mr. A did like uh, destroyed Ad's uh, tribe and uh, Tamud and uh, Noah's nation and uh, other cities were buried in sand or something uh, well if those are the good things what uh, Allah did I don't really want to know what are the bad things so this is where this video went for now we will meet in the next